we're comfortable with our imperfection. We judge ourselves by each other. No matter how ashamed I may be of the weaknesses in my life, and sometimes when I look inside myself, I make myself sick. Don't you feel like that? Do you ever disgust yourself? Say, how could I do that? I can't believe that I'm that selfish, or I can't believe that I'm that covetous or lustful or whatever it is. Yeah. But we are quick to excuse ourselves because we look around and we can always find somebody who's more depraved than we are, at least on this earth. <laughs> so we can be like the, the, the public or the, or the Pharisee that Jesus talked about that went up to the temple to pray and said, oh, God, I thank you that I'm not like that miserable guy over there. And so we find a way to excuse ourselves and to flatter ourselves until we see the standard. And when that happens, we are undone, as Isaiah was undone. When he saw pure holiness, he understood what it was that he wasn't. He couldn't stand it, and he's on his face, and he's screaming out in pain, and he's saying, Woe is me, for I am undone, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. I wonder why he said what he said. When he cries out now in his terror, he said, I'm undone because I have a dirty mouth. I wonder why he, it went to his mouth. If you read the teaching of Jesus, one of the things that comes through his teaching again and again is a lesson that almost no one in the 20th century believes anymore. Jesus, if Jesus of Nazareth taught anything, he taught repeatedly that someday every human being would be called before the tribunal of God that every one of us will have to give an account before the holy creator of heaven and earth. And Jesus says that on that day, every idle word that we have ever spoken will be brought into the judgment, that everything that we've ever done, everything that we've ever said, every promise we've ever made and broken, every blasphemous statement that's come from our mouth, every slanderous word that we've made towards our neighbor will be brought up on the table. Jesus said, it's not what goes into a man's mouth that defiles a man, it's what comes out. God has given us our mouths as vehicles to praise him, to express his truth. And instead, we've used our mouths to lie, to hurt other people, to blaspheme God. We have dirty mouths. When Isaiah saw the holiness of God, his hand went instinctively to his mouth. 